Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels of Destiny show. Why is this show called this, you may ask? So I'll tell you. Except the meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, before we get into this fascinating conversation about taking charge of your destiny, I would like to say thank you for watching this show live or at a later date. And it means a lot to connect with like-minded women like yourselves. Now, if you've never met before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women to crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, transform the present, so they can take control of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use angelic Reiki, future life regression, past life regression, meditation, angel cards, and hypnosis to help women who feel lost get clear on their destiny. I've also created a transformational journey to help you take charge of your destiny. Now, each episode of the show will cover various themes of your journey, a mini guided meditation or angel card reading, normally with the wisdom of my wonderful guests, the angels or myself. And as you can see, I actually don't have any guests today, um, which uh, it can happen sometimes. Uh, the guests I was supposed to have, we had a little bit of um, a, a technical issue. Um, so it's decided that we'll actually redo that show, um, hopefully next week. Um, so this week I am literally talking to you by myself. Um, so just check in that the show has started because obviously I don't have a guest and I'm not even sure whether I can actually hear myself. Uh, so I'm not actually sure if I am coming out live or not. So um, as soon as you start watching this, please let me know um, so that I actually know uh, how, you know, if I've got, um, if people can actually hear me, um, because it's always nice to, uh, to know that, that people can. So before we get into this fascinating conversation, then whether you're watching live or at a later date, please hit the like or love button as I love to see hearts and thumbs appear across the screen and if you're watching this on my YouTube channel then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to it so you can get updates on all recordings you can also ask questions leave comments as I want you to be part of this conversation so please don't be shy I will try and say hello to everyone who says hello and answer any questions or comments live once the show has finished now um, this show is about uh, how you can um, take charge of your destiny because it's really important in this day and age now that we actually have some control of where we're going. It's kind of like in the past, it, we've always kind of like gone along and said, okay, I'll, I'll do this because everyone else is doing this. I'll do that because, hey, that's what I'm supposed to do oh, I've been stuck in this situation for such a long time. I think I'll, I'll stick to doing, to doing that, which doesn't really help you in the slightest because you just meander along the way. And with everything that's happening at the moment, with the way Earth is waking up um, and how things are happening in the, in the world now, and the interactions with people, we do actually need to really start taking a hold and control of our destiny. Um, now, as I said, if you are watching this, please say hello and let me know if you can hear me okay, because as I said, without guests, I can't actually hear um, myself. So I don't know if I am actually coming out live or I'm just uh, blurbing as, as, we, as we go along. So anyway, we, um, yeah, we need to take control of our destiny. And if we know where we're going, then we actually have some control of it. Now, how do you take control of your destiny? There are so many different ways of, of doing it. There are so many practices out there so many things that you that you can do so i've worked out my own system my own way of, of doing this 
um, which I'm going, which I'm going to share with you to today, um, and that is to be present in the moment. You need to heal your past and you need to create your future, which transforms your present, which helps you take take control of your destiny. Now, how do we do this? Why why should we do this? Well, the reason for say healing our past is that everything that has been done we have done in the past whether childhood or previous lives has a lasting legacy that carries or comes with us on our journey into each incarnation um, or as we get older from our childhood and we keep all those cellular, cellular uh, soul memories because every time we reincarnate, it's to learn more, to grow. So we get to a point where we don't actually need to come back anymore. So if we can actually heal any issues from the past that are affecting our present, then that will help us on our, on our journey. Um, you know, an example of, you know, in, in your past, you know, you're, you're constantly in the same relationships the same situations, every relationship you have has the same outcome. And it's not really helping, and it's not really helping you. So if you go back to see where these issues came from, whether it was to do with your childhood or whether it was in a previous life, and you go and visit those, explore them, get to know what the reasons were behind, clear them, then they will no longer affect you in the present. And if they're not affecting you in the present, then you've actually got control of your destiny, control of your relationships. And that's just, you know, just one, one example, you know, and past life regression has shown um, people, you know, that have fears. It's, it's helped those when, when they've gone back to, to see them. But it can also be about things that are going on in your life. You know, you might... Um, pro, you know, procrastinate about doing doing stuff, and whilst you're doing it, you're eating, and it's like, um, oh, I, I'm, e I'm eating, so, so you know, I, I must have been starved in a previous life. Oh, hello, Jackie, nice to see you. Can you hear me? Okay, because I'm not sure if I am actually people can actually hear me, but if you can, that'll be brilliant. Just to say, yeah, I can hear you. Um, yeah. So where was I? Oh, yeah. So we're going back into um, uh, past life. Um, so, so, yeah. So you find, you, you find you're eating a lot and you're not sure what it is. And you think, actually, do you know something? I may have been starved in a past life. Um, you know, I may have been in a famine stricken country. Maybe that's why I'm eating so much in this life. So you go back and you go back to a previous life. And in that life, you actually find yourself in a normal life, quite happy. Um, you know, not worrying about anything at all. Thanks, Jackie, for saying you can hear me. Not worrying about anything at all. Um, you know, you leave a boring sedentary life you're not doing much in that life you know and but it's an it's an okay life you're not starving you know you've got food on the you've got food on the table and then you get to the point of death and you go into that afterlife and you look back and when you look back you kind of like look in life and go actually I had a really boring life I didn't do anything I wanted to do I just let my life go steadily, steadily, steadily. And I really wish I'd done more with it. And then you bring that person back to the present. And it's like, actually, that's why I'm eating, because I'm not doing anything. I've actually brought not the famine back, but I've brought that procrastination, that boredom back. So I'm not going to... Um, 
you know so 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 that's what that's why i'm eating so if i actually start doing things i'm going to stop eating and that has actually worked hi rani nice to see you thank you for dropping in um we haven't got we haven't got too far so, um and what, what you fish can always uh, go 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 back to our recap and if you do have any questions um that that you want to ask whether it be about angelic reiki past life progression future life progression taking charge of your destiny then please do um post the uh questions and i and i will answer them so you can see that when we go back in time and we heal our past whatever that may be that no longer affects us in the present so if that's no longer affecting us in the present then we've got more chance of taking charge of our destiny and again it's like going into into the future you know because quite often we worry about the future should we be doing this should we be doing that is this the best job for me is this the best relationship for me you know oh my god my, my life is going to be so boring my life is boring what's going to happen you know and you worry about in in the present and you don't actually concentrate on being present in the present so if you go into the future and you see what your future is going to be like then you actually don't have need to have those worries anymore because you, you actually see your future and go, actually, it's not that bad. Things aren't what I thought they was get, what they were going to be. I mean, if you think about it, everything that you do in your present creates your future. So if you change your decisions or behavior in this lifetime, then you will create the best possible future for yourself much sooner. Because every action that we do now affects our future. So imagine if you knew five years ago what you knew now. Ask yourself, what would I have done five years ago? And you go, oh, I would have um, taken that job. I would not have got into that relationship. I would have studied this. But because you didn't take those actions or you got into the relationships, they affected you in, at the time, but in the future as well to now. So if you can see five years into the future and you can see, oh, actually, I took this job and my life is so much better now. Or, oh, I got out of that relationship and I'm now in this other relationship. I'm not in the relationship at all. It's like, you know, that, that's really, you know then what your future is going to be and what you can work towards and how you're going to get there. So you then bring that energy back here. And in the present, you're thinking, actually, I don't need to worry about the, about the future because I know what it's going to be and I know the steps how to get there. So again, that's you taking charge and control of your destiny to help you to be pres fully present in the in the here and now. Please tell me if this makes sense. Um, if uh, you know if you're watching this live or on, on the on the playback, and if you've got any questions that you would like to clarify on any of that, then you know please let me let me know. Otherwise, it's just going to be me talking constantly, and I can talk and tell you. As those that know, once I start, and we could get on to all sorts of topics. And I could go completely off the topic of taking charge of your destiny. So where were we? Oh, yeah. So <laughs> see, I told you I just got off of tangents. So, so, so now we look at angelic Reiki, you know, how can angelic Reiki help? Well, angelic Reiki is one of those things that, it's energy healing from the angels. Now, the angels love us unconditionally. They are unconditional love. And they know more about us than we actually know ourselves, which is a really strange thing to think about. But they do actually know much more about us um, than, than we do. And they will come in to help not not just physically heal or mentally or emotionally heal but help you understand where you are going what you are doing where you should be so by allowing the angels to come into your life you actually 
are helping yourself take control of your destiny because they're working with you to help you take that control. So, you know, there, there are, they're just some of the methods I personally use to help you take control of your destiny, you know, including, including meditation. And, you know, meditation is one of the most easiest things that you can do yourself. You don't need other people to do meditation. You can actually do it yourself. You know, all you need to do is put on some music and clear your mind. Or you can listen to a guided meditation, which is an absolutely brilliant way of getting your mind focused. And guided meditations can take you on journeys that will help you take control of your destiny because you work on issues that may have been affecting you um, in the past, in the present, or even in the future. So it's really interesting how everything combined can actually can actually help you in the present time because we really should be in the present. We shouldn't be thinking or worrying about the future. We shouldn't be thinking or worrying about the past. We should just be allowing ourselves to be totally present in the here and now. Uh, you know, I've been on this transformational journey myself, you know, over the years. You know, since I was a child, I've been very spiritual and, you know, my, my parents took me to spiritualist churches where, when, I was, when I was a kid. So it's always been there. In the, in the back of the mind and I've gone through that gone through that journey you know spiritually not you know you get to teenage years and it's like do you know something I can't be bothered with all this stuff I just want to see my friends see boys you know just enjoy my life life as is and then you get that little bit older and you kind of think actually I'm just kind of like allowing my life to drift I'm not sure where I'm going what I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing so for me, it was kind of like taking stock and going deep inside myself and actually saying, okay, where do I want to go? What do I want to be doing? I want to be in control of my destiny. I don't want to just be going along every day, you know, doing the same things, waste, not, not wasting, not wasting my life because, you, you, you know, anything you do is not wasting all the time you're breathing. It's not, it's not wasting, you're just not fulfilling your potential as it, as, it, as it should be. So I wasn't actually fulfilling my potential. Um, so it, it was like, okay, I need to take control of my destiny. How do I, you know, how do I do this? And when I connected with the angels, oh my God, it was absolutely amazing. It brought in all this wisdom and knowledge that I knew was there, I had always known was there, but it wasn't actually, I wasn't actually tapping into it and utilising it. And getting their help and then working with me, it was kind of like, okay, let's see where we can take, where we can take my destiny. And they said, like, oh, Past life regression. Okay, let's see what happened in the past. So I, I went back into the past. You know, I've had many, 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 many previous times by a lot of priests uh, um, or priestesses, spiritual, religious, children, uh, women. But you know, I've, 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 done, I've done the gamut. Um, but by going back and looking at the most significant past lives, and dealing with those issues has helped me clear them from, from the present time. And because I've cleared them from this present time, I actually have no worries about them and they don't affect, they don't affect me now. You know, and then when I found future life progression and I've gone into the future, I've seen my future and it's like, do you know something? I don't need to worry about, you know, I don't need to worry about it what I'm going to do, where I'm going to do, because I've seen where I'm going, what I'm going to be doing. So I don't, so I don't worry in the present. And that's the, and that's the thing that, you know, we can all, we can all take from this. We really do need to be in the present. 
so that we're not worrying about about the past. And I've just, as, as you see, sometimes I'll suddenly kind of like go like that, and that's because I've suddenly um, been, been, been told something by the angels. And that they want me to do a very quick meditation um, to help you be fully present in the moment. So I'm not quite sure how this is go or or how we go or how we go or how we're going to work this. So if you make sure that you're um, sitting comfortably, you're not doing anything um, strenuous. And that we do, we do a, a quick mini guide meditation. So you want to close your eyes and take a deep breath. And on the out breath, just let go of anything that doesn't need to be in this space at this time. Take another deep breath in. And on the out breath, just totally relax. And as you relax, just allow your breathing to become natural and steady. Steady and natural. And just give your body permission to totally relax. Just feel your whole body relaxing from the top of your head to the tips of your toes all the way down to your fingers and just see for the imagine or know yourself in case in a beautiful beautiful golden light a golden light of relaxation and just allow this relaxing energy to move into your body as you feel your head relax your brow relax, your eyes relax, your ears relax, your face relax, your jaw just relax, your neck relax. Feel your shoulder muscles relaxing so wonderfully relaxed, like warm sunshine is massaging them. And then feel your upper arms relax, your elbows, your lower arms, your wrists, your hands, your fingers. And you feel so wonderfully relaxed. And as you relax more and more, you feel your upper body relax, your chest muscles relax, your stomach muscles relax. Your whole back relaxes. Your spine relaxes vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae. As this relaxation moves down, you feel your hips relax, your buttocks and your pelvis relax. Moving down, feeling your thighs relax, your knees relax your shins, your calves, your ankle, your feet, and your toes, all totally relaxed. And it's such wonderful feeling of relaxation. And as you're relaxing, you find yourself at the top of a beautiful staircase staircase of your own design and making with five steps leading down, leading down into a beautiful garden. And in a moment we're going to take a step down these stairs. And each step down is going to take us more into relaxation. We step down now, five, going deeper down the steps, four, deeper down the steps, three, deeper down the steps, two, 
deeper down the steps one and step off the bottom step into a beautiful garden it's a garden full of beautiful flowers and grass maybe vegetables and there's a warm sun beating down, beautiful blue sky. And you feel so safe and relaxed here in this garden. It feels so wonderful to be here. And as you idly walk through the garden, you come to a beautiful water fountain. And it looks so marvellous and elegant, this beautiful water fountain in your garden. And you find this place to sit by this fountain or maybe even on the fountain edge. And you just allow your hand to go into the water and feel the beautiful clear running water of this fountain. Go over your fingertips. And as you sit here, just gazing at the fountain, you allow yourself to get lost in the gentle flow of the water. Gentle flow of water, just losing yourself more and more into that. And as you do, you realize that any fears or worries of the past you have are just flowing away with this water in this fountain. It's flowing away into nothingness, no longer existing. It's flowing away. You know that you have no fears or worries about the past because you're so fully present with this beautiful water. And as you're sitting there gazing at this water, you realize that you have no need to worry about the future. You know that the future is what you make it. So why worry about it as you watch and allow the beautiful water of the fountain to take those worries and fears about your future away? And you know that you're just fully present because you know that at this moment in time you have no fears or worries about what has been and gone. And you have no fears and worries about what is in the future, you are just content on being in the present, in the here and now, with this beautiful relaxing energy, this beautiful water, knowing that you can complete control of your destiny, because you have those worries no longer. And just allow this feeling that you have now, being fully present, fully in control of your destiny. Allow them to seep into your physical body while you're sitting here at this fountain, without a care in the world. And as you feel that energy inside you, switch it up. Switch it up like a light. A dimmer light that gets brighter and brighter. This feeling of being fully present and totally in control. How wonderful it feels to know that you're in charge of your destiny because you have no worries or cares. Because you know that there is nothing to worry about. You are the most perfect being at this moment in time. And now it's time to leave this fountain. 
and walk back to your steps, bringing back with you this feeling of being totally calm, relaxed, present, knowing that you have complete control of your destiny in the here and now. And you'll bring that feeling back with you as you come up the steps back into your body. So coming up the stairs now, one, back up the stairs, two, back up the stairs, three, all the way back up the stairs, four, all the way back up the stairs, five, all the way to the top of the stairs, fully back, fully present, remembering everything, and open your eyes. And make sure you are fully back and fully present. And I'll give you a moment to get yourself fully back into the here and now. And if you've got some water or something to drink, then please don't drink. So if you joined in that meditation live, please let me know how it was for you and whether anything came up. And if you're watching this on recording, then again, please um, let me know. And if you haven't said hello yet whilst you're watching this, please say hello. And, you know, I'm going to be here for another five minutes. So if you have any questions that you want to ask or any guidance you want to ask, then, you know, then please, please feel free to, to ask whilst you've got me here live. Um, and if you are watching this on recording, then you've got any comments or questions, please post them and I will check back to this to see um, what questions or comments and actually answer them, answer them for you. Um, so no one's got anything they want to ask. We've got another five minutes. And that's so you can do. Uh, and we might also you might as well because it's my show and I can do this and you really don't want to keep hearing me talking or maybe you do want to keep hear, hearing me talking. Hello, new. You happy to connect? Hello, Joy. It's lovely to, to meet you and to connect. Have you been watching since the beginning or have you just tuned in? And uh, that, you know, thank you. Thank you for watching. If you, if you can let me know, that will be, that'll be absolutely brilliant. Um, whether you joined in the meditation or not. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. Yes, you got here late. But you can actually watch the replay, which is, which is, um, you know, which will, which will be on here after, afterwards. So you can actually, if you didn't get all of the guided meditation, you, you can get it. And if you, I'm saying I'm going to be here for another five minutes. So if you've got any questions about, um taking control of your destiny then please post them then please post them on it so let's have a look so joy what are the best ways to handle a retrograde oh well different people handle them in different ways i mean the retrograde that we're in now is a lot nicer than the retrogrades that we have actually um been in, been in but the thing with um, retrogrades is that you have to you have to go with them. It's kind of like don't fight them. When they bring up issues and emotions, go into those issues and emotions and ask yourself why you've got these emotions, why you've got those issues. Work through them. And you'll find that when you work through them, they actually clear a lot quicker. And don't beat yourself up about it. You know, if you find you're really emotional, you're, you're suddenly crying at the, the, the slightest thing, you know, just go with it. You know, it's the clearing. Retrogrades are clearing, getting rid of stuff that no longer serves us, making us actually go and look look within our side, inside ourselves to actually know where we're going to go because when the retrograde finishes and we've cleared a lot of stuff we actually move forward in our lives so again you're you're taking charge of your destiny by working with all those retrograde energies accepting them working with them and going forward i hope that makes sense joy please let me know because sometimes i'll just keep talking 
Um, do I do astrology and tarot cards? I don't do astrology and I don't do tarot cards now. What I do is I use angel cards because I don't predict the future, um, which is a little bit strange seeing as I work with past life regression, I do future life progression. But everything I do, as you've heard, is is for the present. So, so I don't tend to use tarot cards anymore. I've used them in the past, but I tend to use angel cards. And when I use the cards, I normally tend to use them or I use them for you need to know for your highest good in the present. Um, so so that's how I like to um, work with it. Yes, I like that. And that's how I see it as well. It, it, it is. Um, and it's an inner knowledge that a lot of people do have. You know, and sometimes you just need somebody to go, actually, this is what we do. And you go, oh, yeah, I knew that. I knew that all along. But as I said, I do do angel cards and I might as well do a quick card for, for you for, for you all watching, whether it's live or at a later date. So we're just give these cards a quick bless. And we'll do um, a quick card. So what's the difference between the two? Uh, I'm guessing you mean between tarot and angel cards. Um, tarot is is a lot more to do with predicting your future or giving you an idea of what's going on um, in in your future, and you make the decision whether you are actually going to follow those that advice or not. Um, but just because the tarot cards tell you something, it doesn't mean you need to do it or you can ignore it. So um, if we take um, an example of a tarot reading that was done for me when I was a teenager. I I used to go to a nightclub and obviously being brought up in a spiritual family, just was having my tarot cards done by my aunt once. And we literally had the tower. We had death. We had all these cards come out. And working through the cards, and it's, it looked, you know, that, that, that there was going to be some kind of accident and, and that. So it's like, okay, so what kind? And then obviously my aunt tuned, tuned in and she basically saw me falling off some stairs in a nightclub. And it's a nightclub she'd never been to and she literally described, she described those stairs. So I chose not to go to that nightclub for a little while because... The cards have shown that there's a possibility of me being seriously injured um, by going to this nightclub. So I didn't take it. So I took notice of the cards and I didn't go. So I, I was never injured in, in that nightclub. And again, it's like, you know, if, if you are um, doing the tarot cards and they say, you know, oh, you're going to um, meet a tall, dark, dark, handsome stranger at a... At a, at a bar, um, you know, and you're going to have a wonderful, happy life together. But if you don't go to any bars, you're not going to meet your tall, dark stranger, as the cards, as the cards predicted. So, yeah, tarot cards are very good at telling you what's going to happen in the future. And you have to, but it's up to you whether you take notice of them or not. With angel cards and, the, I mean, angel cards can be used to say what you're going to do in the future. But to me, they're more of what you need to know in the present. So that because if you because if you know what's happening in the present, you can then take the steps for the future. So you're not relying on the future to be telling you what you're doing now. You're using the present to tell you what you're doing in your future. If that makes sense, that's kind of like you having charge of of your of your destiny. And so please let me know if that makes if if that makes sense if that makes sense to you. Uh, but but yeah, that's how I that's how I see the difference between tarot and angel cards. Having done both um, in in the past, and mainly using the uh, using the angel cards now. Uh, we'll contact you soon for some healing. Been doing a lot of research. Yes, 
Yeah, Kevin, that'll, that'll be um, that'll be absolutely absolutely brilliant. Yeah, we've we've got a lot to talk about, um, and I've got some insights as well, and uh, I want to kind of like share with you. Um, but anyway, so the card reading. So, um, what do what does everyone who's watching this live or at a later date need to know for their highest good at this moment in time? What does everyone who's watching this live or at a later date need to know for their highest good at this moment in time? What does everyone who's watching this at late need to know for their highest good at this moment in time? So, let's see what card comes out. So, which is uh, quite interesting because I've been watching around this uh, time of the sixth sum. Voyage of the Heart. Love flows through you and to you. So I don't know if you can see that card there. Make it a little bit closer. Very difficult to actually put this up the right way when you can't actually see. So as you can see, we've got a beautiful, lovely lady who's got the moon, the stars. She's she's got flowers. There's a there's a boat. There's water. There's literally everything in this card. And to me, what this card is, is, is saying is allow your heart to be open. You know, now is, now is the time to really not just love others, but to love yourself as well. And when you, love, when you allow your heart to be open and you love yourself, love automatically flows to others. And when it flows to others, they they pick up on the energy and then that then they start sending love back to you, you know that 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 beautiful energy and and love is what we are all here really for, you know that is our primary being that that is our energy it's unconditional love, so yeah so so everyone watching this live or at a later date, it's kind of like go into your heart center, go in. Be in your heart, live in, live in your heart. When you're in your, in your heart, nothing can ever hurt you or, 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 call, or cause you issues because you're at one with yourself. So, you know, it allows you to love yourself. And when you love yourself, you love others. And when you love others, they love others and they love you back. And it's just a continued cycle um, of, of love. So, yeah, definitely all go into your heart that are watching this um, and see what your heart's got to tell you. Um, it's, you know, that's the cards. Uh, Joy, sounds good. Love you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Joy. I'm glad I make sense. Sometimes I just travel on and I kind of think, am I actually making sense or not making sense? So if anyone else is watching this live and they've got a question they want to ask me, um then please you've got another couple of minutes to ask those before i actually um finish this broadcast for the for the day um so yep let me just scroll through in case i missed any that that came up um, No, I can't. Oh, thank you for the heart, Jax. No. I like, as I said earlier, I like hearts and thumbs. You know, it, it's kind of like nice. Again, it's the, it's the, you know, it's the unconditional, you know, the, the love, the heart. Um, who, who doesn't like the heart? You know, and if you find that it's difficult to, you know, I'm, I'm saying this is what the cards suggest, you know, go into, into your heart and love yourself. And I know that some people it's really difficult to, to love yourself. But the easiest way to start is actually to look at yourself in a mirror and just look into your eyes and just say, I love you. And if you can't say out loud, first of all, just say in your head. And even if you, if, if you can't say the, the full thing, you know, you can start with a bit every day. And if you can't use the word love, start with the door. You know, I adore you. Until you get to that point where you can say, I love you. Um, and 
and and that and that will 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 help you. I'm actually based in Dartford in Kent, um, in the UK. I don't know where you are, where you're joy, whether you're actually in the UK or whether you're um, elsewhere in the country. But I do, um, I, I uh, everything I do, um, I can do via um, Skype or Messenger um, on online. So. So, so yeah, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty available to to anybody who's in England, anywhere in the world. Yeah, the the you so you you're from from the USA. So yeah, it's it's quite easy. So you're probably either I suppose depending what part of the coast you're on, you're either five or nine hours behind behind our time here. I'm kind of like guessing, but but yeah, it it is easy to um, to actually work. Um, work work live uh, on online. So I think we're going to uh, wrap this up now. As I said, if you can think of any more questions after you uh, rewatch this again, then please, um, you know, write the comments down, and I and I will get get back to them. And I hope that I've kind of like explained, you know, how you can t how you can take control of your destiny in in the here and now. Um, so, 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 yeah. Um, I, I I hope you've enjoyed this. As I said, it's not often I do my own sh show with me. Normally, I have a guest with me, so it's much easier because I let them do the talking. Or if I'm a guest on shows, I have people asking me. So, just talking by myself was was uh, quite interesting. Oh, thanks, Joy. <laughs> Went in accident and deep set. Oh, yeah. So, to me, it, to me, it doesn't sound sexy. <laughs> but then I think that's when everyone, um, when you when you listen to your life. Um, anyway, so thank you for all those who um, for watching, and I would like you to invite you to share this video. As I'm sure there are more women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny, just like you. And you don't need to be a woman to feel lost on your destiny no men do too you know and I'm, I'm more than happy to help men as well and if you have reached a crossroads in your life and uh, you need help finding your destiny and get clear on your path then I would love to be that guide for you reach out and connect with me so we can arrange a free 20 to 30 minute session via Skype or Messenger to find out more about each other and how I can help you take charge of your destiny and I am creating an Angels and Destiny group on Facebook um, there where we can talk about angels and destiny. And if you connect with anyone on the shows, you can actually connect with them. So if you're going to be so if you're interested in joining in that group when I've set it up, please let me know. Now, hopefully next week I will have a guest and that will be Dinosaur. Um, sharing her wisdom on the topic of victim mentality and is it me and it should be an interesting conversation she has got a brilliant outlook on life um and i'm really looking forward to actually technology timing and everything working out so we can actually have a conversation together so um i'll see you next wednesday at the 8th of may at 8 p.m Again, thank you for watching and I will see you then. Bye.